Hi everyone, my name is Alex Romanov, I'm the CTO of Beam, and today I would like to show you a quick demo of the Atomic Swap feature that we have been working on for quite some time. Now, we have actually started working on the Atomic Swaps back in October last year, but had to postpone it due to the large amount of tasks we had to accomplish before our launch in January. We came back to it in February and now that it's almost ready and currently in testing, I would like to give you a quick demonstration of how the first version of this feature is going to look like. Now in the first version, it will only support it in Beam command line wallet and it will require full Bitcoin node for both participants to work. So let's get started with the demo. In our demo, we're going to use rec test nodes for Bitcoin in order to avoid waiting for long confirmation times on Bitcoin network. And as you can see, we have Alice and Bob who want to exchange beams for Bitcoins using atomic swaps. Alice has a little bit under 10 Bitcoins right now and Bob has a lot of Bitcoins over 10,000. And of course, each of them also have a CLI wallet in which Alice has a little bit over 43 beams and Bob only has six. So obviously, Bob's want to receive some beams for the Bitcoins he has. And in order to initiate the swap, Bob will run his wallet using the swap listen command and he will specify the amount of beams he would like to receive and the amount of Satoshi he is going to send back in the swap. So let's start this. Now Alice on her side is going to use swap coins command and she will also specify the amount of beams and the amount of Satoshi and of course the SBBS address of Bob's wallet. And as the swap starts, we see that there are three different types of transactions constructed. Lock transaction, refund transaction, and redeem transaction, and I will explain what they are and what they're used for in a bit. But now, in order to advance the swap, I have to go and manually create few blocks on the Bitcoin network, so let's do that. I will create seven new blocks here, and our swap is on the way. So let me show you what is actually going on under the hood. So in this diagram, as you can see, there's quite a lot of action. First, the swap invitation, which exchanges information between the beam wallets of Alice and Bob to create the swap. And then three types of transactions are created. The lock transactions that lock coins on each of the networks respectively. The refund transaction, which allows me to get my coins back in case the swap doesn't go well for any reason and the redeem transaction that is sent to the network eventually to get the coins that I have swapped. All of these transactions have to be created and used in appropriate order. So there is a lot of logic and monitoring going on here, which makes this feature quite so complicated. So now what we have to do is just wait for enough confirmations to go on the BIM network and the swap will be complete. Now several minutes has passed and we can see that the swap actually completed successfully, both on the sender and the receiver side. And we can see that all of the transactions that we described are actually created, the lock transactions and eventually the redeem transactions. Now if we go back to the Bitcoin CLI and advance one more block, we can see the updated balances for both Alice and Bob. So Alice right now has one additional Bitcoin and Bob, due to the amount of blocks that we have created for him, has even more Bitcoin than he had before. So this is how, how this is going to work. In reality, this process is going to take much longer than in this demo, up to several hours, depending on the amount of confirmations we're going to wait for each uh, network. So thank you very much for watching this. Thank you for supporting us and have a great day.